Yo, what's up, guys? Oh my god, Qualcomm just dropped a bomb on Weibo. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 is officially coming on November 26th in China. That's like next week. I'm literally hyped because this chip is gonna shake things up big time for mid-range Android phones in 2026. If you're waiting for a new phone that's super fast but doesn't cost as much as a kidney, this might be it. Let me break it all down for you. Super simple, no nerd jargon, just straight talk like we're chilling and I'm explaining why this matters. First off, remember the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5? That's the absolute beast Qualcomm launched a couple months ago. The one that's in phones like the Red Magic 11 Pro, Realme GT whatever, making everything scream fast, crazy AI stuff, and games running like butter. But not every phone needs to be that insane overkill, right? That's where the Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 comes in. Qualcomm is basically saying, hey, we got a slightly cheaper version that's still ridiculous powerful, but sits right below the Elite one. It's like the little brother who's almost as strong, but won't make the phone price go through the roof. Okay, let's talk specs real quick, because the leaks are wild. This thing has eight cores, two super fast prime cores at about 3.8 gigahertz, and six performance cores at around 3.3 gigahertz. Both chips use Qualcomm's own custom Orion cores, which is huge. That's the same magic that makes the Elite feel so snappy and efficient. But the Elite pushes its prime cores way higher, like 4.6 gigahertz or something crazy. So the regular Gen 5 is clocked a bit lower to save battery and keep heat down, but still destroys last year's chips. Now the GPU, oh man, this is where it gets juicy. Both the Elite Gen 5 and this new Gen 5 use the exact same Adreno 840. Yeah, you heard that right. The Elite might have more units inside or higher clocks for max gaming, but the Gen 5 gets the same one. Maybe just tone down a tiny bit to cut costs. That means games like Genshin Impact or Call of Duty Mobile are gonna run at high frames, ray tracing, all that good stuff without melting your hand. Leaks say it can hold over 100 FPS in tough benchmarks. That's smooth as heck. Benchmark talk, I know some of you love numbers. Early tests showed the Gen 5 hitting around 3,000 single core and 10,000 multi core on Geekbench. That's basically matching or even beating last year's top chips. Onto two, over 3.3 million points rumored. For comparison, the Elite Gen 5 is pushing way higher, like 3.8 million or more, because it's the no compromise king. But honestly, in real life, Scrolling TikTok, editing photos, multitasking, you're not gonna feel a huge difference unless you're benchmarking all day. Let me compare them side by side real quick so it's crystal clear. CPU speeds, Elite Gen 5 has those insane 4.6 gigahertz prime cores for when you need absolute max power. Gen 5 tops at 3.8 gigahertz, still faster than pretty much everything from 2024, but cooler and better battery life. GPU, same Adreno 840 family. Elite might edge out in the heaviest games, but Gen 5 is no slouch. Think 90% of the gaming performance for maybe 70% of the price in the phone. It's smarter for most people. And get this, phones are already lining up. OnePlus A6T is coming first, probably rebranded as OnePlus 15R globally. Vivo S50, maybe X300 FE outside China. Redmi Turbo Series and Poco F8 too. These are gonna be beasts for the price. Big batteries, fast charging, killer cameras, all powered by this chip. If you're tired of paying premium for tiny gains, these mid-2026 phones are gonna be fire. I'm so excited because this means more choices. No more either super expensive or kind of slow. Qualcomm is finally giving us that sweet spot. The Elite is still the performance monster if you want zero compromises, but the Gen 5? Dude, it's gonna make so many phones feel premium without the premium pain. What do you think? Your Team Elite for max power or Gen 5 for smart money? Drop in the comments which phone you're waiting for. Smash like if you're hyped for November 26th. Subscribe so you don't miss when I go hands-on with these chips. We're so close. Let's go. Peace out.